Let me start with the gospel message or rather the message of the week. It's about bread. The last time also we had about the bread. In fact, the whole this month perhaps the theme will be chapter 6 of the gospel of John which we call as the eucharistic discourse. The discourse on the body of Christ that we consume in our eucharist the bread of life. You know already in the first reading there's an inkling of this bread of life that Jesus speaks of in the gospel and we see that the people have been grumbling in the old testament in the book of exodus of today's reading and they are grumbling to say that we are hungry we have nothing to eat why did we at all come from egypt out of egypt we could have died there we are dying of hunger and god sort of makes up for it by raining bread from heaven you know what are rains and to say that we use that expression to say that bread was raining from heaven because god gives when god gives he gives in abundance but moses reminds them this is a bread that comes from heaven it's called manna it's called manna and what's manna manna is that which the lord has given for us to eat god takes care of us last week i spoke about the providence of god that god will not abandon us not even physically and also spiritually emotionally we see the gospel has got this theme that has been developed so much that jesus tells the people that last sunday we saw that jesus had multiplied five loaves of bread and two fishes to feed 5000 people and the people are following him everywhere and jesus says perhaps are you following me because i made multiplied the bread as it were made this miracle you are seeking me not because you you saw signs but you had your fill and there the beautiful statement from jesus comes what's called the earthly bread earthly food and the heavenly food the earthly food we know that we have to eat three times a day perhaps much more than that the morning breakfast after lunch evening supper and so many things but it is not enough it is not enough and jesus gives a beautiful sentence to say that do not work for the bread that perishes but for the food that endures for eternal life so what is the food that perishes the food the word food here is not just eating but everything that is transitory everything that is perhaps temporary for us everything that we touch we feel we eat we drink but then it doesn't take us long it doesn't take us long and we realize that we can't our life can't be just eating and drinking and spending money or uh, buying clothes going to the market it's much more than that and so jesus reminds them of the spiritual bread the bread of life as it were and jesus said i am the bread of life i am the bread of life the last sentence of today's gospel says i am the bread of life he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world god gives us life and therefore this is the eternal bread this eternal food that we drink that we eat and drink so therefore this main distinction between what's called the earthly bread and the heavenly bread the earthly bread doesn't last long we have to keep on eating we have to keep on drinking but that is not the end of our our life's goal as such if that was the case there was no sort of no other things for us to worry except our food and drink but there are so many other things so therefore jesus takes us from the what we call the temporary level the transitory level the earthly or physical level to a heavenly realm perhaps the bread that we use in the eucharist is a sign and symbol of our earthly food but then jesus prays transforms it at every eucharist and makes it a bread of life for us which sustains us forever you know in canada there is a beautiful saying manushyaru koduvadu mane tanaka adre devaru kodudu kone tanaka what man gives is just till you reach your home or perhaps your earthly destination but what god gives 
and what will give to you is that which is eternal or lifelong it lasts for long time so therefore my dear brothers and sisters let us ask the lord to feed us with this bread of life which is very important for us and this bread of life will sustain us not only physically but also emotionally and spiritually i remember once when i was coming out of the church there was this old lady and then i stopped her and said that how are you and are you happy of course she said i am happy and everything else but then i said you look very quite healthy what is what is the secret of your good life and no no she told me ada i come for mass every day morning i receive the eucharist i receive and for me the life of the whole day is something missing if i don't go for mass and receive the eucharist i said you have this realize what's called the heavenly bread the bread of life which you are receiving but some old people some elderly some people who have that passion for eucharist can tell us what this bread of life means